It's a 13 inch wrench that you're gonna need, four screws. But I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, we have our cooling tray motor set up on the table. We're gonna show you how to check the oil level and do any other maintenance that you might wanna do while this is off the machine. Right, there's two things you can do. Check the oil, we're gonna show you how. And if your cool, cooling uh, arm starts uh, slipping a little bit, here's an adjustment on the clutch. Uh, we'll touch that after. So uh, this motor, when it is on the machine, is upside down. So we're gonna show you, it's four screws that you take off on this plate right here. Let me get to him. It's a 13 inch wrench that you're gonna need, four screws. But I want you to pay attention to this. This plate is on the bottom. So when you remove your motor from the plate, from the plate, which is gonna be upside down, be mindful of the flange that has threads where the screws go on. Just align them along with these four holes right here, 13 inch wrench, and you can take the motor off. So picture the motor being this way. You have a machine, you know what I'm talking about. Take out the four screws and you pull it out. Also, there is no need for you, if you notice how long my cable is there, there this goes to the electrical panel. Can you hold that for me, please? So that goes to the electrical panel. There's a reason why this is this long, because there's no need for you to remove the electrical connection here, unless you're replacing the motor. Otherwise, you're checking the oil, there's no need for, uh, for you to do that. So I'm gonna show you now how to check the oil level. Loosen this set screw right here. Be very careful because as soon as you start loosening this, if you see oil start seeping, right there, close it. That means you're good. Also, if you wanna replace the oil, you're gonna to have to empty everything through here and put the oil. Now, Ken, can you help me here? What does it say? What kind of oil should they use? Uh, the oil is listed on the nameplate. Uh, it says S4WE320. If you're gonna use a synthetic oil, make sure it's high temp gear oil and empty everything in, in here before you uh, fill it back up. Now let's turn our attention to adjusting the clutch. If your cooling tray starts slipping, then you remove this red cap and it's going to expose, remember, you're looking at this thing upside down. Grab a wrench, um, I use a pipe wrench, small pipe wrench. But if you have a wrench big enough to hold this knot, righty tighty, lefty loosey. If you go counter, uh, clockwise, it's going to put pressure on here, which is in turn going to transfer to your cooling tray arm and it's gonna stop spinning. If you hear this, a rattling noise, and then you you already gave it some adjustment, but the cooling tray does not turn, that means that more than likely your gearbox is shot. Unfortunately, everything that we sell here comes as one year. We don't have gearboxes to replace. And then you do everything in reverse when you're putting it back on. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below.